What's up, y'all? This is sorry back with no reaction. Y'all from the Fat Man's podcast. I got no reaction for y'all. But before we get into this reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 800 subscribers by the end of this month, y'all. So please do share this video with everybody you see, your family, friends, whoever you see. And just, t uh, just turn this subscribe to the Fat Man's podcast, y'all. But <clears throat> if you want to go see the original video, y'all, it will be up in the description box. If you want to go see without the commentary. Uh, and uh, please, if you have any comments, please put it up in the comment section. I do read all of them, but I'm not, I might not respond to all of them, but I definitely do read them, y'all. So, hey, y'all, what's he up in here, y'all? Yo, it's uh, from a uh, SJW Central, Social Justice Warrior Central, and then the title is SJW Fails and Cringe, uh, compilation number 41, and I am Black Fist. First, Black Fist? No, I'm Black First. Okay. I thought I said Fist, my bad. All right, y'all, what's he up in here? A New Jersey high school student under a uh, New Jersey high school that is to say under fire after President Trump's name is removed from two students yearbook photos. You can see them wearing the name on their clothing and another student's quote from the president also excluded. Now the school says they have no policy preventing students from expressing their political views. And it was all within the dress code. So what happened exactly? Joining us right now is one of those censored students, high school junior, Wyatt Dobervich Fago. Joins us right here in Studio F. Wyatt, good morning to you. Good morning. You got class a little later on today, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm so, going to make it. Okay. Make it in time. So tell us what you know. You got your yearbook when? Last week at about Wednesday. All right, and you opened it up, very excited to see that sweater that you're my, wearing right yes, there. My... And, and what'd you see? Um, it wasn't there. It was cropped out of the yearbook, as well as my sister's quote was cropped out of the, uh, was not put into the yearbook. Right. And we should put, we should, and we can put up the, the images. It wasn't just that your photo was cropped. Somebody photoshopped Trump off that. And it wasn't just with you, was it? It was with another student uh, in my grade. And so when you put all these stories together, there's definitely something going on. There was a deliberate attempt to censor and to silence someone's freedom of speech. All right. When you realize, and there's the other student, is, his name is Grant? Grant, yeah. All right. <laughs> and clearly, Grant's shirt has it been is so photoshopped. Yes. You, there's no doubt about what had happened there. The big question is, what happened? Any idea? I don't know. I guess someone just didn't like our president and wanted to not have him in the yearbook, but that's taking away mine, Grant's, and my sister's freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Sure. Keep in mind, Donald Trump is the president of the United States exactly. today. It's a part of history. It's not like they can just Photoshop that away. Exactly. He's the president. Maybe somebody doesn't appreciate that back in the Photoshop department. And this is where I think that with everything that's going on in today's country and stuff, this is where it's got to end. You can call anyone names, you can say whatever you want, but censoring someone's freedom of speech and freedom of expression is where we've got to stop where this stuff happens. It's just, it's insane. Sure. And we've got an image of your sister, who is the freshman class president. Correct. And she submitted a quote, and it was, uh, I like thinking big. If you're going to be thinking anything, you might as well think big. That's a quote from President Donald Trump. And they didn't even put her quote in there, exactly. even though she submitted it on time and asked the advisor if they'd gotten it, right? Yep. Something seems kind of fishy. Something's a little fishy. All right. So what do you want? Uh, we should also point out that the uh, school district said the allegations are disturbing. Indeed, the administration applauds students for becoming involved in politics, making their voices known, and taking an active part in our democracy. There's a statement right there. What do you, so they're going to, I understand your mom's going to meet with uh, school officials later today to try yes. to figure out what happened. What do you want to happen? I think that it would only be fair to make sure that all the yearbooks are reissued with our photos fully intact the way they should be and with my sister's quote into the yearbook. And I think also that the people or person who did this should be held responsible because it is a violation of mine and other people's First Amendment rights, and that's wrong. So essentially you want to find out who the uh, photoshopper is. You want to unmask them. We want to unmask <laughs> the photoshopper. All right. What it would take to up and root well, right now, take what I have on me and just I guess on the other hand, like, do you think our economy can handle just anyone? Just, 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 
the fact open that the there valve. are eight people who own like 90% of the world's wealth tells mm-hmm. me that yes, we should be able to support all people. But so well, how would that work? We live in an oligarchy. Yeah. So how would it work to like undo that? To redistribute the wealth. Like just by taxes or like? No, by radically changing the system and taking the people who have all that money, holding them accountable for their actions, jailing them, and redistributing the money that they so, stole. Like, some, some Stalin shit, huh? No. That's what no. they did. That's what they did. No, that's not what I agree with. That's not what well, you said jail them. And Listen, Iceland re- did it. Iceland had a completely peaceful res- revolution. Nobody was hurt. Not okay. a shot was fired. Okay. Yeah. Stalin enacted genocide. Okay. That's completely yeah. different from what I'm talking about. And he had the gulag. Hey, what's cracking, dude? He did the gulag and everything, and the uh, you know imprisoning of capitalists and all that crap, and. Yeah, well, I'm not saying redistributing capitalists. I'm saying the people you know, who have committed crimes against humanity in order to amass the 90% of the wealth that they own have stolen from the rest of humanity. They've committed crimes against humanity, and that's documented. And they continue to get away with it. Can you name those people? Well, there's a can. Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, Queen Beach of Tulane, some of these people you speak of, the women, old women, men. I know I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. See, I thought you just meant the rich in general. They're all men. They're all, a lot of them are women. Sure, they're family. Do you, do, you mean, do you mean the rich in general should be treated like that, or just people who committed crimes? People who committed crimes against okay. humanity. Like, and as the decades move along, we're going to realize that the, the, the way that the gas industries and the coal industries have affected our planet are crimes against humanity. What do you think about the Saudi Arabian government? Do you think that they fall into that category? I, I don't, I've never been to Saudi Arabia. You should go. You should go. Shouldn't she go? No, I should not go. No, I have she lots should of go. For not wanting she to go. Should. Well, you're a woman. They'll love you there. Um, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Just kidding. Yeah. I like the joke though. Hey, y'all, uh, stop at the six minute mark. I usually stop at that five minute mark, but you know they was talking. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't think you. I don't think she understands like how how the country would fall if we if we went to socialism or or uh, communism. It, it, it would. It would. It would. It would collapse the whole the whole government the whole the whole um market all that stuff i don't think really people understand how drastic when they be saying uh we should all have the same wealth as as the rich and stuff like that and most people don't really want to be boss bosses or anything like that i don't think i don't think people really understood understand how hard that would be um i don't know probably people wouldn't probably be motivated uh to to make stuff we have now iphones computers cameras lights um shoot i don't know mouses mouses i don't know something but i i don't think they i don't think they understood how 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 that would affect america these days America in general. Now in Saudi Arabia, they probably still more than you know. What I mean, they they are trillionaires over there, oil kings. You know what I mean? Uh, but you know, I guess. Now this first, now this first clip, that's wrong. You know what I mean? Why would you? This is this censor this censorship is off the chain. All this man had was a Donald a Trump vest, and the other guy had a Trump Make America Great Again shirt, and they cropped that out or they edited it out. That is wrong, and he's absolutely right. They should reissue the the uh, the yearbooks and uh, get this man in trouble. Whoever man woman whoever cropped this stuff off the pictures should get in trouble for it. Um, I'm not saying jail time, at least a fine or, you know, they, uh, say sorry to the family on camera and post it. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Um, I just think that's wrong and they know that's wrong and the school should do something about it. Uh, so I hope, I hope they, I hope they get them. I hope they get the person that did that. And, um, 
you know, get him in trouble and something like that. Give him at least a, a sentence or get him fired, something like that. I don't know. But hey, y'all, let's get back up in here. No, no, they don't. It, I don't but they fall into that category. I, I'm aware. There are people in, in pretty much every country who have done some really correct things and who have colluded with what's going on. Yeah. Now, before we kick off today, we are going to pause just for a moment to remember the two young Australian women who so tragically lost their lives in the recent terror attacks in London. The tragic events that took place in London last Saturday night. We stop to remember all the lives lost, all those families and friends affected by this terrible tragedy. And in particular, we reflect on the loss of two young Australian women living and working in London. Trooper uh, said that he couldn't let me up there. It was right there. He let me talk to these people on the side, but he wouldn't let me walk up there. I do believe that I can walk up around uh, the back, though. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do, just to document uh, this for you. But as you can see, six minutes on the side of the uh, non-communists, and it's really peaceful, really nice people. Look at this, guys. Look, nice people. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hey, I, I went over there. I tried to talk to them. I got nothing but hate and screamed at. Why are, you guys are so nice. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there they are. Look at this. Look at this. What did he say? I don't know. This is sad. This is sad. All I wanted to do was talk to these people. That's oh, there they are. Look at this. Look at this. What did he say? I don't know. This is sad. This is sad. All I wanted to do was talk to these people. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was talk to these people. Look at these smiling faces, and they block our free speech, folks. They block our free speech. These guys ruin everything. They're going to ruin our country, too. Hey, don't touch my equipment, all right? I'm going to walk through here. Yeah, excuse me. You touch my equipment, man. Get out of my way, please. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, can you guys move? I'm trying to document this. Hey, hey, you know what, guys? Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, guys, hey, guys, hey, guys, don't get in the middle of this. Don't get in the middle. Don't get in the middle. Don't get in the middle. These people are losing their minds here. Here come the police. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I, I honestly, I feel bad. I'm not, I'm not trying to make these officers' time more difficult. Fellas, I hope you're not upset. I'm really not trying to give you guys a hard time here. I'm just trying to document this. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm peacefully trying to execute my First Amendment right, and these people are not letting me. I'm not even carrying a sign. I'm not even saying anything. All I'm trying to do is document this event, and these people will not let me. This is sad. This is sad. This is really sad. You know that? I'm try You're proving my point right now. You're literally proving my point. This is really sad. I'm sorry you guys had to put up with this. These are the fine fine Americans out here that are patient with these people. You just heard this this man who's traveling here from England was like, if these people tried to do this in England, the cops would have whooped their ass. You ought to be thanking that these, po these police officers are so polite. You ought to be thanking them. So from my own experience, you know, when I go to the airport and I go to untangle, you know, a pair of headphones and I get, you know, visited by somebody from TSA, it's that type of thing. We have to look at the fact that it's not necessarily inflammatory so things, it's the perception. in the safe space? No, no, this is a sincere question, though. You're asking for someone, uh, not you, I guess, to pay for a safe space where people can say whatever they want. And I want examples of the kind of things that Muslims believe they could only say in a so-called safe space and could not say, for example, on this show or on a street corner. Like, what kind kinds of things would they be saying in these spaces? I don't spaces? think it's necessarily something that they can't say elsewhere, but it's, you know, spaces to have internal, internal community dialogues, to be able to hash things out, to be able to have these complicated discussions. And something else that, you know, I really want to be out in the forefront that the Islamic Council of Victoria has also done in collaboration with the Board of Imams is speak out against violence against women. These type of, you know, internal community dialogues acknowledging that there's an right. issue of violence against women and that, you know, there needs to be more in the Muslim community, there's a problem. In with all communities, women. there is an okay. issue of violence against have women. You noticed that, have you noticed that all identity politics kind of converges in the end? So it's not just about Muslims, it's about the LBGT community, it's about black lives. It's like, you know, at some point... Well, some of us, like myself, exist in all of those communities. It's not identity politics you when it's your life. But do you also... It's, you know, 
But don't you also think that primarily you're an American? Aren't we all first and foremost Americans? I'm black first. End of conversation. Thanks, Blair. Wait, I, I'm tripping. Okay, when he said when he said the LGBT, and she said, I, 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 uh, am I tripping? She said she said uh, I identify with all them groups, or maybe maybe I misquoted her, but is she Muslim? Is that? Let me not even go there. Let me not even go there. But we you know you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm black first. Okay, goddamn, that's cold bloody boy. He was just asking. All together, we all American, but you're black first. So, okay, all right then. You know that's what he said. I mean, and then it'd be right there. Now, these little, the last clip. What is wrong with you people? If a man has a different opinion for you, you should not block that man from what he was trying to say. There, there is, you're, you are totally wrong for that. Let this man do what he, let this man say what he want to say. Just like you guys have the right to say what you want to say. And uh, the other, this, this, the last could we just watch. Ma'am, there is no safe place out here in this world i'm sorry y'all think you know what i mean y'all can say it's safe places and everything but there's always a risk of offending somebody you know what i mean there's always a risk of something running up on you you know what i mean i'm sorry but you know what i mean i, I mean you could say there's like small uh crimes in different countries and stuff like that but there's always a risk of offending somebody so you know what I mean. I don't really believe in safe, uh, safe, safe uh, spaces and stuff like that. I, me personally, I don't believe it. You know what I mean. There's always a risk of funny somebody and stuff like that. So, and me personally, I just don't even care. You know what I mean. Say what the fuck you gotta say. Just make sure you you uh, check your check your surrounding. Make sure you got you know. Make sure you packing something with you. Mace. It don't matter. Mace Taylor. Whatever. Suit a gun if you really need to. Just to protect yourself, which you know what I mean. That's all I. Re that's all you really need, man. But hey, y'all, that's the end of the video. Y'all tell me what y'all think up in the comments. Yeah, I do read all of them. I might not respond to all of them, but I definitely do read them. Please hit that like button and the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 800 subscribe by the end of this month, y'all. So please do share this video with everybody you see, your family, friends, whoever you see, and tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast. But hey, y'all, signs off in the Fat Man's Podcast. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.